you you said something um that kind of made me remember i don't remember who it was that shared this with me and so and i've i've heard it from many different people so whoever was the starter of it i have no idea but they basically were saying like don't worry about the fact that your first episodes are not going to be polished and they were recommending that you go to any youtube channel any youtube channel that you like and instead of looking at their most recent video look at their first uploads just to see that yeah the first ones the lighting's terrible. They forgot to put on makeup. They might even have a stain on their shirt. But the whole <laughs> point is they showed up. And, and so I, I really love all that you said about basically just keep doing it. And if you do find that you hate it, give yourself permission to quit, but try it. Give it an actual try. And so I like that you committed to 100 episodes, but I also like that you said, at least start with just three. <laughs> Yeah, I mean, honestly, like you, you really might hate it, and that's totally okay. But, but we all, that's what I love too about in, in creativity is we, my team always teases me because I always say everything is an iceberg. Everything is an iceberg. There's so much, there's so many layers of what you think you want to do. There's so many layers in becoming an influencer or becoming a manager or a leader or all. There's so many other pieces that we have to consider. And we don't know because we've never been in that situation. If you've never done a podcast from the outside looking in, you think you know, oh, it's just, it looks easy. It looks, it looks easy. I just have to get on the microphone and say some things and put it up. Then you're like, oh my gosh, who hosts this thing? How do I do? If you get into the weeds of it all, then you're not going to do it. But this is why I always love reminding people of what's your MVP? What's the minimum viable product? What is the minimum that I need to do in order to get this podcast out there? Fortunately, there are places like rss.com where you can get your first, your first podcast up for free. Like that's all you have to, you start there. You start there and then you start to learn. And then you start to to be part of that community and you start to meet other podcasters and you learn new things. And that's what I love about communities like this. This is why it's so important for us to be connected with other people that are doing this kind of work. So that's what we have to think about when we, when, especially when we're first starting.